Hello, this is Kyle with Digital Scan 3D, and I'm going to show a quick process of transferring data from the Innovmetrics Polyworks ImInspect uh, to an Excel template. Um, so I'll open up my Polyworks uh, inspection document I've got in here, uh, just a kind of a generic part. Uh, and you can see on the left, I've got a, a feature tree with all the individual um, features labeled specifically after uh, callouts on the inspection drawing. Uh, you can also see under data alignments, I've got a DRF ABC alignment, uh, which means I have aligned this um, the scanned data, which you can see here, uh, with the CAD data um, based on the the datums of the uh, drawing. So these are the three datums. We've got a, a plane on the bottom, uh, the cylinder B here, and C this end of the slot right there. Uh, so that was able to use this um, align datum reference frame alignment to align the scan data to the actual CAD data. Uh, that way we get a consistent inspection uh, no matter what scan part we do. This is a lot better than a best fit which simply tries to get the scan data as close as possible to the CAD data. Uh, anyway, uh, once you've got your all your uh, dimensions uh, set. Um, it's important to make sure that each of your dimensions um, has only one geometry control, uh, otherwise it won't get transferred. Any other geometry controls won't get transferred uh, to the Excel template. So if I uh, jump in here to number five, like I did with number one, you can see that it's got one geometry control, uh, which is the diameter. Okay, so I'm going to walk through the entire process of creating a macro template really quick. Um, so we'll open up the, this uh, macro here. Uh, it opens up this generic Excel templates dialog. And we're going to click Add. It'll open up this, this template editor. So I'm going to just uh, browse for my, my template here. Um, and I'll show that really quick. So this is the template. Uh, it's just very, very simple. Uh, we've got all the inspection, uh, inspection dimensions here on the left under Item. Uh, the nominal values, measured tolerance, deviation, and pass or fail. Also, locations for organization, part number, name, drawing number, operator, date, time, and units, etc. Uh, so I'll pop that over there, so we can just take a look at both of these at the same time. Okay, so organization is going to go in cell C1, part name, cell C2, part number, cell C3. Part drawing number, cell C4, uh, date looks like C7, time C8, uh, serial number, don't have one, so we'll just leave it at blank, operator name, uh, be C6. Uh, and then what we'll do is with these columns, we'll say, okay, we know the item name is in column A, so we'll say A. Uh, control would be the geometry control name, so diameter, x distance, y distance, angle, etc. We don't have that anywhere uh, in this template, so we'll just leave that blank. Uh, nominal, we'll also leave that blank. That is the nominal measured from the CAD drawing. Uh, because we've got it listed here in the, in the template, we're not going to pull the CAD drawing nominal. Um, measured is column C. Uh, deviation is column E. Uh, it's, there's a tolerance low and an upper, so that's a lower bound and upper bound of tolerance. Since it's listed in a single column, uh, column D over here on the Excel document, we'll leave both of those blank. Um, and test, uh, we got pass and fail column. So what we'll do is we'll say test, pass will be in F. Uh, select test in two columns and then choose the fail column as column G. We're going to start at row 12 because that's where all the data starts. Uh, and this is sheet one. We'll click save. And now we'll select our new template here. Uh, we don't have any surface comparison points, so we'll deselect that. And click export. Now let's close this Excel document before we do that. Uh, we'll click export. We understand we don't have comparison points, so we'll continue. And as you can see, it's opened up Microsoft Excel in here and very quickly imported all of the uh, data for the inspection. Um, it's imported the organization name, part name, part number, drawing number, etc. Uh, it's got the date and the time. 
all the measured values, all the deviation values, um, as well as the pass and fail columns. Now, uh, this document has been saved, so we can just close it. Um, oops, I'm wrong. We can save it. Yes, we want to save changes. So what if you had 40 or 50 of these parts to do? Um, it's to take you about, I mean, depending on the part, four to five hours uh, to set up all of these features on the CAD model. But once you've set up all these features on the CAD model in Polyworks, all you have to do is align the uh, scan data, and it'll inspect all of those things. Uh, but if you had a lot of these, all you'd have to do is set up the uh, features once, and you can click New Piece. Uh, we'll save the changes to this current piece. And this is a second piece right here. So we've got the same, all the same information we can input here, different serial number, operator name, um, email address, device, etc. cetera. Uh, so we'll click Create. And it's going to ask us for um, an, uh, to replace the polygonal data object. So we'll open up one of these. And we know it's in millimeters, so we'll click OK. Now it's going to extract the measured components and do all the alignment based on the datums we, we set. Now the inspection process is completed, as you heard with that ding. So we'll click Close. Repeat the same process. Uh, choose our template. No comparison points. Export. Continue. There we go. This is part two. As you can see, the, the um, file name has changed from Inspect Project Piece 1 to Inspect Project Piece 2. Uh, we can save that. Close it. Save changes to the second part. Now we've got piece three, create, select the next scan, open, OK. It'll run through the process again. Extracting components, etc. Now it says the inspection process has been completed. And so this is our third piece. What we can do is we can repeat the exporting process again. Comparison points, export. Right there into the Excel document. Save it. Labeled piece three. Close it. And there you have it. Uh, this is a quick demonstration of the ability to transfer data from Innovmetrics Polyworks in Inspect to a, an Excel template uh, using a custom macro. Hope this video has been informative. This has been Kyle with Digital Scan 3D.